Hey guys, Tyler Johnson back again for another update for you guys. And this video is going to show you guys how to program your Arctic T247 from Ocean Revive with a remote and also how to do it with the one button that's on the unit. Alright guys, so right here is the side of the Arctic T247. We have a display here and a button right here. Now I'm going to show you guys how to do everything from the remote first. I think that's the easiest and then we'll, we'll uh, do the button for you guys. So as soon as you guys plug in your unit, you're going to want to hit the clock button. You're going to want to set the time of the unit before you set the time for the channel. So by doing that, you just simply hit the clock button on your remote arrow to the right and your hour will start blinking so go up or down to choose your hour and then hit OK and do the same for your minutes up and down and hit OK now you're done just don't touch the remote or anything you'll see that it reset itself really quick it only takes a few seconds for it to reset so now that we have the time set on the unit now we need to go and set the intensity of each channel that's real important I find a lot of people calling me because they set the time and then they find out that oh channel 2 is not coming on well after some research and, and digging on it guys we find out that most of the time the intensity level has been set to zero and that's why the unit isn't working so let's go ahead and show you guys how to set up the intensity for the LEDs all right, so setting the intensity is super simple. All you guys got to do is hit the menu button on your remote, and it's going to bring up channel 1, or if you hit to the arrow right, you can go to channel 2. Now, to adjust these, just press arrow up, and as you can see, we are in the intensity for channel 1. So I am set at 100%, and channel 1 is blue. So if I want to change channel 2, guys, hit menu, hit arrow to the right or left depending on which channel you want to change and then just press arrow up guys and then you can adjust your number pretty simple you can either hit OK and uh, just wait for it to go back to its clock and we can move on to setting the channel times so on your remote guys you're gonna see a button called C1 on which means channel 1 so if you press that and you press arrow to the right you're immediately into a blinking uh, time that you can set I have my lights to come on at 9 a.m. in the morning so as you can see it just resets itself when you let it sit there for a while so let's go ahead and hit that button again and I'll show you guys how to turn it on so hit channel on arrow to the right we can set our time we know it's good hit OK then you can either just wait and for it to reset itself so you know that it's properly saved the time now you can hit the next button on your remote which is C1 off arrow to the right and now we can set what time we want the unit to shut off alright guys now that we have mastered the remote let's go ahead and move on to the knob now the knob is a great way to control your units but the remote by far has got to be the easiest so what you're gonna do guys is there's a knob up here and you can either press that knob or turn it left to right and it does a few different things so let's go ahead and I'll jump in and show you guys how to set the time first that's what you guys want to do first if you're gonna turn this unit on brand new so we're going to go ahead and click that button. You're going to come to a screen right there and rotate to your right. And then you're going to continue to click this button until you get to clock. As you can see, it cycles through everything that has to do with time. So let's go ahead and go to clock. Then I can rotate left to right, and now I can set my time. Now I know it's good. If I just wait, it'll back out one step at a time. So now I know that I'm back in clock. I can click that button again, go into channel one, set its time, then I wait, it'll save itself and it'll bounce back. I can click the button again, go to channel one off, set my time. Now I know it's good, wait, it'll back back out, hit the button again, now I'm into channel two. And you continue that process. So it's actually really simple once you get in your groove. Now let's move on to setting the intensity of channel 1 and channel 2, which is pretty simple. You're going to hit the button twice in the beginning. So let's go ahead and hit the button twice. So 1, 2, now we're into intensity settings where I can rotate the knob and adjust my settings. I wait, it'll back back out. Hit the button again, now I'm in channel 2. So 
it's pretty simple guys you know if you guys have any questions you know I'm here on YouTube I answer phone calls at addictiveaquaculture.com you guys can punch that button down in the bottom left hand to get to my website I got my number there and then also hit the subscribe button on the right hand side and also post a comment to Ocean Revive telling them thank you for these awesome lights that they guys have these things are wicked cool I'm getting a great feedback on the websites and on the forums and on Facebook on how well these guys are uh, working on everybody's tank so stay tuned for the new products stay tuned for new lights and stay tuned for my updates see you guys